morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Sceptico and welcome back to Would You Rather, the game where we're gonna figure out would you rather be a badger or a dinosaur? Both really, really cool, but probably badgers. Let's let's face it, we're all probably gonna be badgers at the end of the day, because those are the coolest. Get off me cables. Anyway, welcome back to Would You Rather, where the first one is Would You Rather win a one-day shopping spree to any store, okay? Or win a two-week two two week. Two weeks vacation to any destination. That actually makes better sense. Actually, vacation and destination is what rhymed. Not wake. <laughs> um, okay. One day shopping spree. See, that's the thing. You win a one day shopping spree, but how much are you allowed to spend? Am I allowed to spend all the muns? All the money then in the box that I have? No, probably not. Win a two week vacation to any destination. I'd probably prefer the one day shopping spree. I don't know what shop I'd go to. I'd probably go to like a toy store or something. I'd buy a shit ton of toys. <laughs> I'd buy all the Lego I could. Lego is expensive as all hell right now. I can't believe some kids have to- uh, Some kids ask for Lego for Christmas and some parents have to buy that for them. Like some of the Star Wars Lego, it's like a hundred euro for like not nothing that's actually anything spectacular. When I was younger it was a lot cheaper. Jesus Christ it got expensive. Um, but I'd probably do something like that. Or, like if I had infinite money to go buy anything I wanted, I'd go to an electronic store and buy all the gadgets. Because a two week vacation is fine, but I'd feel too bad because I'd have to prepare videos and get them all ready, and then go on the vacation, and then I'd be worried about them, so... I, I don't relax. I don't sit down and relax at all. Like a two week vacation, I'd just be sitting there going, I, I need to get videos done. I need to record! So, one day shopping spree. Fine. Fuck you guys in your two week vacation. That's fine. I don't care. Whatever your motivations. I don't know. I mean, I work from home anyway, so I don't feel like I have to get away from my job. Like, say, if you were working in a cubicle in an office somewhere. So, I don't feel smothered by my job because it's an amazing job and I love it. So, I mean, it's not that bad. So, I don't really need a vacation. Would you rather have every song you ever listened to turn into Nyan Cat? <laughs> or have every mu movie you ever watched turn into Badgers, Badgers, Badgers. I don't even know what the movie Badgers, Badgers, Badgers is, but I have to pick the Badger answer. <laughs> Would you rather be a Pokemon trainer or attend Hogwarts? Ooh! Have all the Pokemans. I mean, I'd be a Pokemon trainer. It doesn't mean the Pokemon actually exists, but... I mean, if it's the case of, would you rather be in the Harry Potter universe and go to Hogwarts, or would you rather be in the Pokemon universe and become a Pokemon trainer, or would you rather do Michael Jackson's Thriller? <laughs> so, I think I'd like to attend Hogwarts more. I love Pokemon and they're so awesome. Some of them are really cool, even though anything beyond the first 151 Pokemon, I'm kind of like, What? There's a Pokemon that's keys now? There's something Gr Greninja? What? Even though he's fucking cool. So, anything beyond that, I don't really know, and a lot of them I just kind of turn my nose at because I'm such a hipster when it comes to Pokemon. And like, I knew the first 150, those were the cool ones. All the new ones? No! Even though a lot of them are much cooler than the first 150. There's dinosaurs in it now. But attend Hogwarts. I'd love to be able to be a wizard and use magic. That was very close. That's insanely close, but could you imagine when Guardian Leviosa all over everything? Just pick up a cake and bring it to my mouth. That's the life. That's the dream. That's the goal right there. Um, okay. Would you rather eat only salad for the rest of your life or eat only fruits for the rest of your life? I don't know. Ne neither of them give you a proper diet. <laughs> Eating only salad for the rest of your life, you don't get many sugars. Like, you need, you need, you get carbs and that, uh, but you don't get a lot of protein in your salad. Unless you have like a chicken salad, does that count? Or do you mean only green salads? Because then you don't get your protein, but in your fruit, then you get a lot of sugar and then you burn out very fast. And if that sugar is not used up, then you get fat. A lot of people are like, just eat fruit all the time. That's healthy, but it's not. That's why there's a lot of contention about smoothies sometimes, because that's a lot of fruit in just one drink. So if you don't use up all that sugar, then it turns, it like makes fat after a while. So pretty sure that's how science. Um, oh. I'd probably- Oh, I love fruit and I love salad! I love all food! Can I just eat red meat for all my life and then die young? <laughs> um, probably- Uh, probably fruit, actually. I'd probably rather eat fruit, because then I could have smoothies, and I could blend them all different ways, and fruit tastes more varied. 
and more delicious than a salad would for the rest of your life. Salads taste good, but eating it for the rest of your life? That are a boring. Would you rather save Abraham Lincoln or s- linking? Yep. Or save JFK? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I know it's John F. Kennedy. So, do I save one of my own because he was part Irish or save Abe Lincoln? I'm probably gonna have to save Abe Lincoln. Because I think he was more... I don't know. JFK was a really good president as well, wasn't he? See, I'm not- I'm not American, so I don't know much about the presidents that came out and what they did and their- their policies and all that kind of stuff. You just hear about them in movies and popular culture, and I know that both of them are very good presidents. Probably Abe Lincoln though, because he was earlier on and he set the stepping stones for a lot of what politics in America are nowadays, I think, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna- don't- don't start yelling at me. YOU DON'T KNOW! You don't know the presidents! Do you, any of you know the policies of the presidents of Ireland? No! You probably don't! Do any- People always give me shit for not knowing the states of America as well. Do you know the counties of Ireland? No! So, I- well, some of you probably do, so. Save Abe Lincoln. Yeah, and 53% of people would agree with me. JFK, also a good president. Peace, one love, my homeboy. Um, both got assassinated. Which is terrible. Nobody should ever get assassinated or murdered. It's horrible. Would you re- rather be blind or be dumb? Oh, some would say I'm dumb already. <laughs> but I'm guessing you mean dumb as in you can't speak? That's what the normal def- definition of dumb is, right? I, like, cause people always talk about like a deaf mute, or if you're dumb it means that you can't speak. Yes, I think so. Oh, so do I want to be able to see or do I want to be able to talk? That's the thing that I'm gonna have to deal with. And you all know how much I love talking. You know how much I love yelling, like, Hey Ma! Scare you, Billy! Like, I love doing that stuff. That's that's my bread and butter. But I also like to be able to see things. I think I'd rather be able to I think I'd rather I was gonna say be able to be able to see. I think I'd rather be dumb. Cause there's a lot, a lot, a lot of beauty in the world to be able to see, and I love I love landscapes, I love vistas, I love being able to play games and be able to look at them and see the beauty that went into crafting the engine that they're made out of, that kind of stuff. Like I can still enjoy a game, listen to it and see it and everything while not being able to speak. And I can still write stuff down but life is a lot harder for people who are visually impaired and I, I don't know, I can't possibly begin to imagine how hard life is like that. Not being able to see, like just walking around. Get, do me a favor right now. Close your eyes. Get up and try and navigate your room. Just get up and try and navigate your room right now. You can still hear me. Hello, I'm here on the screen. But get up and try and navigate your room right now. Or your house. Or anything. You think you're familiar with your room, but when you close your eyes, the world is a completely different place. You have to rely on so much more. Even playing with the HTC Vive. And I can't see anything out through that. I feel like I'm going to crash into the wall all the time. And that's scary. Not being able to see is very scary, so my heart goes out to any of you who are visually impaired. Any of you who are- who can't speak either, my heart also goes out to you. But I feel like if I couldn't see stuff, I miss so much in the world. Like right now, I literally just looked outside and saw six geese fly across the sky. That is so bizarre. Holy shit! Like I couldn't have seen that if I couldn't see. That's how that sentence goes, so I'm sorry. It's always hard talking about these things as well, because people are like, So you're saying that people who can't speak? They're- oh, there goes the last goose. <laughs> you- you're trailing far behind. But yeah, some people are like, so you're saying that it's- It's fine to be- not be able to speak? How dare you, Jack? It's not what I'm saying, you know what I mean. Uh, would you rather make out with Gollum or hook up with Beetlejuice? Gollum. Not Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice creeps me out. Gollum, at least then, part of him is Andy Circus, And I fucking love Andy Circus. that guy is- that guy does not- well, I guess he does get a lot of recognition, but good god, the effort and the energy that goes into a motion capture like Gollum is insane. Acting on its own is a very hard art to do if you're anyway decent at it. It's a hard art to do, but if you're crap at it, then you don't really have to put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> um, but like, seeing some of the scenes where he's like in his mocap suit and he's going down the river in ice cold water trying to catch a fish. That shit, like, such a good fucking actor. Um, would you rather play Beirut Beer Pong? Is that what it's called, Beirut? Um, or play Flip Cup? I don't know what those are. Well, I know what Beer Pong is, is I can hazard a guess what Flip Cup is. I'd rather play Beer Pong, because then I get to drink beer. And I'm good at throwing things. I have a very good aim. That's, that's what I'm saying. Would 
Would you rather return a punt in an F NFL game or spend 90 seconds in the ring with Mike Tyson? Ah, uh, I would not like to spend a ring in Mike Tyson. Spend 90 seconds in the ring with Mike Tyson. That is the potential for a lot of punches. 90 seconds doesn't sound like a whole lot, but a minute and a half in a punching ring with Mike Tyson, one punch from him is fucking hard. Never mind 90 seconds worth. Would you rather be James and live in a giant peach or live in a giant shoe? Giant shoe. Living in a giant- no, not a giant peach. I- I could eat it. Good God. I could eat it, but then it decays after a while. A giant peach does not stay whole and solid forever. It's gonna start decaying and falling apart, then your house disappears. Or if it rained, it gets all sticky and mushy. And then you smell. No! A giant shoe, I could keep that well. A nice leather house. That'd be nice. Would you- oh, I'm not answering that. Nope. Nope. That is- I- I'm not answering that one way or the other, because no matter what one I answer, I'm wrong. It said, be a Muslim or be an atheist. That's- that's just begging for people to shit all over me in the comments, and I'm not answering that, I'm not talking about that. Because religion is a very, very, very touchy subject right now. It's the same with politics stuff, if that stuff comes up, but... I don't know, religion is a very touchy subject. I'm sure you can all agree why I skipped that one. Because that- that's- That's a bunch of comments that I don't want to have to deal with. Um... Would you rather be muscular with a busted face, or be busty with a gorgeous face? Um... Uh... Muscular with a busted face. <laughs> a lot of people would just like to have boobs then, with a gorgeous face. And a lot of people would say, But what- that's like, what's the downside to that? And I'll tell you what, probably none. But... I didn't read it properly, and then I picked the wrong answer. <laughs> What did the comments say? Busty just means I have big tits, which I already do, so a gorgeous face is just an added bonus, and curves are great. A lot of guys like a, like the coke bottle shape. Busty doesn't mean you're curved, busty just means big boobs. Like a big bust. Um, so like, if I'm a guy, a big bust just means like, I guess that kind of means muscular already. I mean a busted face, beauteous and everything! There we go, I, lo I reasoned with it. Would you rather have all your limbs cut off by a very dull butter knife, or have to go every single local WNBA game for the rest of your life? Are you trying to be funny? Would you rather? Are you trying to be funny and say that women's basketball is not that fun to watch? That's stupid. That's a stupid one. WNBA can still be cool to watch. I've, I've never seen basketball games properly. I don't think I've ever watched a full basketball game, ever. Even normal basketball is boring to me. Um, no offense to anybody who likes basketball. Um, but I mean, I'd love to go to some WNBA games. Every single local WNBA game. I mean, we don't have local WNBA games here. So, I'm in the clear. Yay! <laughs> um, but I, I feel like anything is better than having my limbs cut off. Not only by a dull butter knife, but just in general. Because that sucks. And that's horrible. And why did anybody pick this other than to be funny? Well done! I hope your friends love you. Um, okay, last one. No, that's stupid. Um, no, I wanna pick a good one. Fuck's sake, I want a good one! Okay, here we go. Would you rather see the future or change the past? Okay. Very good question. It's like, if you see the future, can you change the future? That's always the... The paradoxical question that people have to ask themselves. It's like, if I if I see that I get hit by a car and die, does that mean that I I can't stop that or I can stop that, but I just don't know when it's gonna happen? I just spit everywhere. Good god, sorry, monitor. That's the thing. Or like you see something bad is gonna happen, can you stop that? Or you see the winning lotto numbers, can you actually pick them and then win the lottery? There's a lot of questions that go into that, but also, change the past is a hard one to do because Why am I full of burps? It's all the shouting and then like moves around my belly I'm basically burping myself like a baby just by shaking around and shouting all the time, but change the past I don't think I'd like to change the past I don't think because if I change the past then it qu it begs the question with a change where I am right now Would it change the fact that I'm on YouTube right now making videos for you guys and doing great things and potentially great things like, I'm very, very happy with the life I have right now, and I'm very blessed, and I'm very lucky to have the life that I have right now. I got incredibly lucky on YouTube. So, it, it's like, if I change the past, if I change anything in the past, will that change what I am right now? And I don't want to change that. I want to live with the mistakes that I've made. Live with the character that I've built. 
that like any of the problems or regrets that I might have, it's molded me into the character I am right now. You shouldn't be ashamed of your past, you should help it motivate you into a better future. And that sounds super dumb and cliche, but that's true. And to be able to see the future is just seeing a lot of potential. It's to see a lot of potentially great things. I could see, if I have an idea in my head right now, like, can I make the world a better place with YouTube? And then I see the future and see if I can or not. And, like, it could be demotivating or it could be incredibly motivating. I don't know. There's a lot of potential in being able to see the future. Changing the past, that begs the question as well. Does it actually change the past? And I'm not ashamed of my past. I'm not ashamed of anything that happened, so. See the future! Yeah! That's a good one to end off this video on. That was, that was good. That was a good question. I skipped over a bunch of them. It's like Captain Kirk or Picard. I don't watch Star Trek, so I don't know which one to pick. Um, so I, I like the ones that have have a, have a question to them. Have like something that you can actually reason out and think about and actually pose a good question. So anyway, that does it for this episode of Would You Rather. I really love playing this. I can't believe I actually did this many episodes on it. I know a lot of people will probably look at this and scoff and go, Another would you rather, really? But you have to admit, when you sit down and listen to the questions and the answers and everything, it really makes you think. And I think that's the reason the series does so well. Because people just sit down and they're like, Huh, I never thought about that question before. Which would I do? And like the whole interactive thing about closing your eyes and walking around your room and everything. Like, I don't know, really cool series, I really like it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi face on row. <laughs> But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes next video! Because, good god. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I wanted to get him. No, I'm heading away. I'm going away. I want to get away. I want to fly away. I sang that. Oh, no! Yes! My voice is back. Next video! Yeah! I couldn't do that yesterday, because my voice was still kind of hoarse from PAX. Oh, yeah, baby! Like, you need, you need, you get carbs and that, uh, but you don't get a lot of protein in your salad. Unless you have like a chicken salad, does that count? Or do you mean only green salads? Because then you don't get your protein, but in your fruit then you get a lot of sugar. And then you burn out very fast. And if that sugar is not used up, then you get fat. A lot of people are like, just eat fruit all the time. That's healthy, but it's not. That's why there's a lot of contention about smoothies sometimes. Because that's a lot of fruit in just one drink. So, if you don't use up all that sugar, then it turns, it, like, makes fat after a while. So, pretty sure that's how science. Um, oh, I'd probably, oh, I love fruit and I love salad. I love all food. Can I just eat red meat for all my life and then die young? <laughs> um, probably, uh, probably fruit, actually. I'd probably rather eat fruit, because then I could have smoothies and I could blend them all different ways. And fruit tastes more varied and more delicious than a salad would for the rest of your life. Salads taste good, but eating them for the rest of your life? That are a boring. Would you rather save Abraham Lincoln or s Linking? Yep. Or save JFK? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I know it's John F. Kennedy. So, do I save one of my own because he was part Irish or save Abe Lincoln? I'm probably gonna have to save Abe Lincoln because I think he was more... I don't know. JFK was a really good president as well, wasn't he? See, I'm not- I'm not American, so I don't know much about the presidents that came out and what they did and their- their policies and all that kind of stuff. You just hear about them in movies and popular culture, and I know that both of them are very good presidents. Probably Abe Lincoln, though, because he was earlier on and he set the stepping stones for a lot of what politics in America are nowadays, I think, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna- don't- don't start yelling at me. YOU DON'T KNOW! YOU DON'T KNOW THE PRESIDENTS! Do you, any of you know the policies of the presidents of Ireland? No. You probably don't. Do any- People always give me shit for not knowing the states of America as well. Do you know the counties of Ireland? No! So, I- well, some of you probably do, so. Save Abe Lincoln. Yeah, and 53% of people would agree with me. JFK, also a good president. Peace, one, love, my homeboy. Um, both got assassinated. Which is terrible. Nobody should ever get assassinated or murdered. It's horrible. Would you re rather be blind or be dumb? Uh, some would say I'm dumb already. <laughs> but I'm guessing you mean dumb as in you can't speak? That's what the normal def definition of dumb is, right? I, like, because people always talk about like a deaf mute, or if you're dumb, it means that you can't speak. Yes, I think so. Oh, so 
Do I want to be able to see or do I want to be able to talk? That's the thing that I'm gonna have to deal with and you all know how much I love talking You know how much I love yelling like hey ma Scare you Billy like I love doing that stuff. That's that's my bread and butter, but I also like to be able to see things I think I'd rather be able to I think I'd rather I was gonna say be able to be able to see I think I'd rather be dumb Because there's a lot a lot a lot of beauty in the world to be able to see and I love I love landscapes. I love vistas. I love being able to play games and be able to look at them and see the beauty that went